there are awkward conversations that you have with family and then there's this Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jane Theory. Today, we discuss The Last Conception. The Last Conception is a Poison Pictures production. It was written by Gabriel Constance and directed by Gabriel Ledesma. The film is based on a novel by the same name and author and stars Nazanin Mondi as Servarna, a member of the Sakan family who finds herself balancing both revealing to her parents that she's gay at the same time, they're revealing to her that she's the family's last hope to ensure the survival of their ancient bloodline. One of the things I really liked about this film was that it didn't beat you over the head with the kind of identity politics that you often get these days in films featuring minority characters. Sometimes it can feel that's the only thing modern creators know to do, but here, the fact that the lead character is gay is obviously part of who she is in her character and she's coming out of the closet, so to speak, to her parents, but their reaction is varied and complex, as is how they choose to handle the news and grow as characters to better understand each other's perspectives, all without being preachy and without anyone being attacked or made to feel like terrible human beings. The other thing is that the character herself is layered with attributes relatable to virtually anyone, she has insecurities and occasional hypocrisy that her friends have to call her out on. She has family drama with parents and siblings and initially struggles with the nerve wracking moment of introducing to that family the person she loves. And as a woman in her 30s, there are also the questions about when and if she'll have children, especially now that there's the mounting pressure of being the only surviving member of her family who can. And not just any family, but one with a widely revered legacy that must be carried on. The film is shot incredibly well. The colors are vibrant, as is the music and the overall tone of the film. The actors do a great job of conveying a genuine relationship. They feel like a real family, and that makes the emotional roller coaster that they experience one that is shared by the audience as well. If there's anything that I would criticize, it's the pacing. The film is only 85 minutes long, but feels longer. And I think that's because there are several scenes that could have been cut out entirely without impacting the story at all. It might have been better to replace those scenes with more information or even flashbacks related to the family's history and how this legend concerning their lineage came to be, with past and present converging as one with the ultimate reveal. But then again, that might have turned it more into a drama than the rom-com that it actually is. All in all though, I did enjoy this film. It was engaging and emotional and a pretty fun time. I'd recommend it. So definitely check it out when you get a chance and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.